Hi everybody, welcome back to the channel and thank you so much for being here. Today I have just opened Maniology's spring set. I will link everything below. Let's get into it and check it out. This is a spring set that Maniology has put together. It has spring, Easter, St. Patrick's Day, lots of good stuff. I am doing this on, today is March 7th, I think, so we're gonna go St. Patrick's Day. That way, if I really love it, it'll give me a chance to do yet another one, and then we'll have a couple of weeks of Easter, and then all of the springy things. I'm gonna move us down to the table and hope that I can pull in tight on these, and I will show you everything I've got. I am sans makeup, bare nailed. We're gonna get into these and make some fun nails. Okay, I've pulled in a little tighter than we normally do. Hopefully everything will be nice and not blurry. This is the spring kit. They sent it over for me, and I am an affiliate with Maniology, but I love doing this. This is like self-care that is so much fun. Let me show you what is in the spring kit and I will link it below. We're going to have three plates, three polishes, and when you get one of their kits, because they're not sure if you're new to them or not, you will get a crystal clear stamper. This is the stamper and it's a silicone top. I'll show you how we use those in a minute. I have a few different shapes. Honestly, I am not perfected enough at this yet to know which shapes are perfect for which and you will also have one of these in the box it is a scraper and I will show you how we use that the three nail lacquers that we have in here it's the sun shower set I have opened them upside down but you know what oh my gosh how perfect are these we have rosebud marigold and bluebell how perfect are these for spring these are great and I don't think I have any like these in my collection I have a couple of cute pinks but not this one so that works great I'm not sure we're going to use those today because like I said at the beginning I'm really leaning toward doing the St. Patrick's Day plates just slide out of these sleeves you can then store them in here you can store them out some people just like keep them in shoe boxes I have a little book that they slip down in plenty of choices this one is the Easter Bunny. You can see the stripes that would make your nail look like an egg. And then we have the all over prints, which is what I tend to do. You have the smaller individual prints that if you can do reverse stamping, which I don't do yet, you can use those, stamp them in black or white, color them in with all of the colors. When I use the bigger ones like these, or even these, you just do a small section of them. But this is the Easter one. I cannot wait until we do those. This one is also very springy. It's just the bigger ones that you can take sections of. And there are bunny ones and bunnies with carrots. And there's just some flowers. These are such pretty. They almost give like a 70s vibe flower. So many good choices on here that you can use for Easter. And then further into spring or summer, depending on how you choose to do your colors. This is the St. Patrick's Day one. This is the one we're going to use today. So we have shamrocks and oh, we have different kinds of rainbows and leprechauns and this looks like a little leprechaun belt. I haven't decided what we're going to do. I might do an all over pattern on most of my nails and then just on my ring finger, which is what I kind of like to do. I might do one of the smaller pictures, maybe the shamrock. I'm not sure yet, but this is the St. Patrick's Day one. So in this kit, you get all three of those, all three of the polishes, and then a stamper kit, which gives you your stamp and your scraper. I also have this is a silicone pad so that when I'm using like my acetone in here, if it happened to fall over or if I set down one of my cotton balls, not an issue. Okay, since I think I'm going to do this two weeks in a row, I'm going to go with a more subtle one for this week. So I'm going to use, believe it or not, this all over one because the all over ones tend to be a little more subtle. And I think next week I'm going to do the shamrocks just all over my nails. And then I'll do this on my ring fingers for that. So I think this week we will do this one. And then on my ring finger, this is like a little leprechaun belt with a shamrock in between each one. I might, I might try and do something like that on my ring finger. So let's start playing with this. First, I've got to pick colors. We're going to do a dry run. I'm going to try this green, which is willow which is the green I am leaning for. And I want to see if this marigold from this month will show up over that because then it'll be kind of like green and pot of gold thing going on. But the beauty of this silicone mat is you get these little fake nails over here. And these are the last two that I have done. I almost always try what I'm going to do first just to see if I like the colors together now. So I'm just going to put a little bit of this. We'll scrape it. Then you just lift it with this. We got a great pickup on that. And let's see if it's going to show on here. It 
is. Can you guys see that though? It is very, very subtle. But you can definitely see it. I think I'm gonna go for that. And because I'm not gonna show you myself doing this the whole time, something else is between each time you use the plate, I use this little tool. You just put some acetone on it and then you have to clean the plate between each use. Get all of the lacquer or get all of the polish that's gotten down in there or it will just lay in there and it will stop you from getting a good pickup the next time. So you have to clean it between each use. You also wanna clean this off of any residue that's left on it. And there are many ways. People use lint rollers. There are just a million things you can use. I find tape, just regular old scotch tape, to be the easiest. I just go over it. If I had been just stamping my nail, you can lay it on your skin. It will pick up so much of that. You're ready to go. If I were ready, I could just move on to the next nail. I've been really collecting some of their nail polishes between what I choose and I purchase and what they send to me. I've got quite the collection now, but I've just realized that I do have a deficit. I don't have a glittery gold. Oh, this is a little more red than I thought. This, <laughs> this might look a little more Christmassy, but since it had some glitter to it, I thought we might like to try that on top of the green. Let's see if it looks Christmassy when it's on the green. But can I get you guys that? You can see what I picked up. I might have let it sit a little too long now. But that's how it picks up. Let's do it back here. Oh, I don't think it looks Christmassy on the green. And I do really like that shimmer. I might have to do that one. By the way, that new shimmer color that I'm thinking about using <laughs> is called Rudolph. So I think probably it is supposed to be kind of red, but over that green, I think it turned more orange. So I may try this on one of my nails. But the first thing I have to do is I'm just going to go ahead and take this willow and paint all of my nails. All right, we've got a great green color on it now. Love that green for St. Patrick's Day. It is perfect. So now we're gonna start with this. I'm gonna do that on all of my nails, except for my ring fingers. We'll do something different with those. And I've decided we're gonna go ahead and give this Rudolph a chance. And we're gonna hope that when I use it, it does not look like Christmas. So you just take a, a pretty good amount. You put it on there. You take your scraper, you scrape across the plate, wipe it off, your stamper and pick it up. You have a pretty good amount. You know you're not gonna need that much for your finger. So what I like to do is make it smaller. That way I'm making less of a mess on the sides of my fingers. Nope, we're not gonna do that. Can you even see that design that I did on my pinky? If I tilt it, you might can see it. I want it to be more obvious than that. So I'm gonna put another coat of green on there and we're gonna hope that it makes it so that I can cover it up with a different color. I think I'm just gonna use the black. Do they call it just black? No, they call it straight up black. I'm gonna use that on my ring fingers for the buckles. While we're waiting for my pinky to dry, let's do this one. Try and do the buckles separate from the shamrocks in this little design. After I got this done the first time, I kind of wished that I had just done the buckle that was near the tip of my fingernail that would kind of make it look like just like a French instead of having both buckles. I went back and forth. That's the beauty of all of this is you only wear it for about a week so you can learn from what you think you like and what you don't. You can do it all again differently next time. It's just such a fun creative experience but I didn't like my pickup on those first buckles so easy peasy I just cleaned it off. I'm gonna paint it, scrape it, do it again and you will see me cleaning it up with the scraper. I used to try and get tape in there and I've been watching a lot of the videos that Maniology does on YouTube also and after you do your pickup you'll have things, you'll see me cleaning it now, that you don't want to stay on your stamper because you don't want them to end up on your nail. So one of the easiest ways to clean it up is just to use your scraper because it lifts it and it's a little flexible and I even got it to get the piece that was between the two buckles easy peasy lifted out of there. So we're going to give this, I'm going to do it on both nails. See how it looks like little leprechaun belt? That is so cute. So we're going to put a shamrock right between those. And what I'm doing here is I decide to clean my scraper since I'm going from the black to the white. 
better to do that than to drag some of the color through the white. Also, you'll notice I'm not worried about the acetone because I have that nice silicone mat underneath. I'm going with an old standby. We're going to try the white and see how we like that. And if we go with that, I might change up my whole design. So what we're going to do in trying the white is I'm just going to try. There's a tiny little shamrock that can fit between the two belts that I'm doing and we're just going to pick that up and give it a try. I like the way it works. Again, the easiest way to clean what I don't want on the stamper off before I stamp my nail is to just use that scraper. And I'm taking off everything but a tiny little white flower on this. I try it with the white and I really like it. I always love the way white pops on nails. I use white very, very often because it just shows so well. I've also realized, see the stripes that I've pointed to that are right next to where I was working? Those are for the belt buckle that I've put on. You can make a belt now. So you're just, I'm gonna make stripes and then clean them up and take the cleanest part of them. And you can take stripes and make the actual belt of the buckle. So I do that. While I was doing it, I was thinking it would also be great to use this for Christmas because it kind of looks like a Santa belt too, not just a leprechaun. So that would be really fun to use. So now I'm just going to put stripes all around all of the buckles that I've already done. Another thing is you'll see that the stripes are really deep. See how they're wide and you can see the brushed color underneath? That means it's a really deep engraving and you want to be sure you put plenty of paint down in there. When I cleaned this one up I realized that if I wanted to I could take my line and split it. So this is what I end up with on my ring fingers are the two little belts with the little shamrock in between them. And now it's time to move to the all over design that we're going to do on all of my other nails. I sometimes do both of my ring fingers and the reason I do that is so that when I start doing my second hand, I don't actually forget <laughs> to do my ring finger it's differently, but I decided to trust myself today. So I make my all over print and then just like I cleaned up the belt buckles, I make the print on the stamper smaller so that when you see me stamp my pinky here, it's not getting so much all over my finger. It still does and we'll clean it up and it'll be perfect. I like to clean it up with tape, but it still helps to make it smaller so you don't have it all over your finger. It's That's one of my favorite hints is just make the prints smaller. That is what the pattern that I'm gonna use on all of my other fingers is. I think that is super cute and I will show you in the end how we can clean up because inevitably when you're doing the big ones that cover your whole finger, you're gonna get some on your skin. So I will go ahead and do the rest of my nails. I'll come back and show you guys what it looks like. When it comes to doing your top coat, the very first top coat you're going to want to do is the Maniology Smudge Free Top Coat. It is thinner and it will stop your design from dragging. It won't make it smear at all. But to have a better going to last all week, you want to have a thicker. And I really love that Etsy gel top coat. It's just the absolute best one. I've linked it down before. And then this is the cleanup tool. I love this. It's it's kind of like a eyeliner tool or an eyebrow tool. You just get the end of it. You dip it in your acetone and then you just, you see what I'm doing? You just work around your cuticle on the other side also. And this is a great thing to know. If you don't get it completely cleaned up, if you leave just a little bit, it's fine. When you wash your hands, the part that's on your skin, at least over one or two washings, is going to come off. So don't stress yourself out about making it absolutely perfect that first day. Here I'm showing the uh, Essie top coat that I love again. It just gives you such a great shine. It makes your nails look like you've had gels. They're, they're just gorgeous with this top coat. It's my absolute favorite. And here I am again, just showing off my work. I It's just so much fun. I love doing it. I love that when it's all done, I have nails that when I look down, they make me smile. I love doing all of the seasonal ones. You can see it's cleaned up. 
I just, there's a close up. I was trying to get you guys as close as I could so that you could see the shamrock and the shillelagh and all of the things that are on my nail. It's, they're just so fun. Thank you guys so much for coming by. I appreciate you taking the time to be here. It's so much fun for me to do my nails and I, I think I'm getting a little bit better at taping it. You guys will have to let me know. This is the kit. It is the carrot patch kit. It's their spring kit. I will link it below. You get the three plates, the three colors. You'll get the stamper and the scraper. They come in that cute little bag. I will link it down below with my code. You will get 10% off your order. And I am an affiliate with Maniology and they sent this over for review. Thank you guys so much for coming by. And I hope you had fun too. I'll see you again real soon. Bye guys.